Yo, what's going on guys? Prince of Asperos here, bringing you a brand new video. And first off, I want to apologize for not posting lately. I've just been kind of distracted with tournaments and school and things like that. Still no excuse, but I'm sorry I missed these past Tackle Tip Tuesdays, but you should have just seen one this past Tuesday. Um, I'm actually making this the week before because we just went fishing out to Juliet yesterday. And we got on some pretty cool stripers. Couldn't find a large amount necessarily. I guess the rain kind of threw them off because it rained and then... They were moving up the spawn, I guess they didn't lock down, so they all got pushed off the bed back into deeper water, and they didn't want to bite, so we couldn't pick up any bass. We only picked up three, I believe. I didn't get any of those on camera, except for one of them, I think. My dad caught um, while we were finding these schools of stripers, but we did get into some pretty awesome striper action. I've never caught anything like this on GoPro before. I really wish I had like a polarized lens or one of those wolf cameras. Because the stripers were absolutely tearing it up out there. They were going crazy. There was probably a big schools of like 12 to 20 uh, stripers going around and busting on bait and things like that. It was an awesome experience. I'm kind of used to it. We've done it a good bit. But I've never really caught it on camera before. And I mean it's just awesome to see those stripers come up and chase after your bait. Especially on top of the water. So I'm going to show you guys what my dad was using. My dad was using with something like this. It was a Rapala X-Wrap. I don't know what exactly what this is. But... I think it was similar to what he was using. All you have to do is jerk it. It's a subsurface bait, so you can't see them strike on it, but they do absolutely hammer the crap out of this thing whenever they do push up to the surface like that, or even if they're down below, they'll still hammer a bait like this. But what I was doing to get some more of that topwater action, what I found works really well with these schooling stripers is using something like a fluke, and how I got this like kind of idea of mental, uh, I don't know how you want to say, but the mental image to use something like this was because I looked up how to catch stripers on top water using artificial baits and what came up was some kind of saw plastic bait that was basically like a square and it kind of went down and slimmed out and to me it looked a lot like a fluke and the way they worked it they just twisted it like a regular jerk bait or like a fluke and it kind of just wiggled around on top of the water and they catch it with salt water and fresh water I guess but this is how I decided to do it since I didn't feel like buying any of those uh, if I could find a pink one I might use a pink one too because those are the two main colors they use was a solid white and a pink But I chose to use the white because one you can see it really well in the water and two They just really liked it. I tried to use the albino fluke They weren't necessarily on it as good as they were this white one I guess it just stands out and Julia has some really really clear water So you can see the fish come up for the bait and strike at it hit it up on top of the water You can see all the stripers come and flash up whenever you brought the fish up next to the boat it was just an awesome experience. I never really seen them come and follow uh, the other striper like that. There's probably a good school of ten of them follow one striper that my dad had all the way up to the boat. You can see it flash. It's like you're waving high to like ten different stripers down there. It's pretty crazy. But there was a couple. I believe there's one that you'll see where it blows up on the side of the boat. I set the hook and my line broke. One that's due to that I had the previous one wrapped around trees because we are in standing timber, like a ton of ton of standing timber. And, you know, your line gets frayed from getting wrapped around those trees, especially since I only had a 15 pound test. Not an excuse for the stuff breaking. Another one I didn't tie a good knot because I knew I didn't tie one. And I set the hook on it and just straight up snapped. But, I mean, that's, that's pretty much how it goes sometimes. It's just, like, you got to deal with it because your line breaks. Your knots aren't going to be good all the time. But, yeah, this fluke right here, if you guys are wondering what bait you need to use to catch schooling stripers, I recommend this guy right here. You won't necessarily get all the good hookups. You'll see me in the video, like sitting there messing with it because the fish is coming up behind it, boiling it, chasing it, hitting it up on top of the water. But it won't necessarily eat it all the way because they just kind of swipe at it. They might grab the side, flick it off to the side, and this thing, they really got to get it in there for them to, you know, get hooked by it. And the stripers don't necessarily have big mouths, so it's kind of hard for them to gulp it in like a bass does. But yeah, this this is a magnum fluke actually. But you can use, I'm sure you can use regular flukes, but I just prefer the magnums. And you don't necessarily have to skin hook it since you're going to be fishing for strivers up on top water. So you don't have to skin hook it for the weedlessness. But if, if it's messing up with the action, sometimes it has to be like that. So then it'll dive down a little bit more. Because you don't necessarily want it all the way up in the water to where it's like barely getting any action. It's just like flipping around like that. But you want it to kind of have that zigzag motion still in the striper. Hope you guys really do on that. enjoy this Juliet striper action. If you do, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Good one. You want a picture? 
pull out my phone, I'll send you a picture. Yeah, that's Freaking striper action on Juliet going crazy! Woo! You wanna keep this one too? Back. Throw it back. Alright guys, my dad's hooked up with a big one here. I don't, we don't know how big exactly, but... He choked it too, man. Oh my gosh, he choked it. I'm not gonna get it out. Here, take this net. Gotta fail let mine go. Hey, get my bait back in there. Oh my gosh, they're hammering it, but they're not eating it. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. You saw that, Dad? Yep. I just left it still, too, and it wasn't getting it. It came a few times. I'll catch it. I'll sweat it. Oh, no, I snapped my line. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was crazy. Holy cow. <laughs> Did you see that? in a tree? Yeah. Got it. Got it. Go up. Go up there with the... Go up above it.
Whoa, baby, some more Julia Striper action! Oh. Woo! Alright, guys, I'm using this Magnum flute to catch these suckers. They're like, it stays up probably about one foot to, su to surface. They're absolutely destroying this thing. I was trying to horse on that one. Oh my goodness. Still hunger? Oh, right here. oh, go around them. You might could get it on. Flip around it, though. Ooh. Ah, gum it. Right, let's go back to back. Eight pounder, guys. We, we, uh, that's the report. I figured I'd give you the report since you're not here yet. But we have. Yeah, yeah, I saw that on the map. It's kind of beat up over there. So, anyways, man, Spencer's over here with the flute, tearing them up, tearing up the bass with the super flute. 